Shall we start this? We shall. Yes. Oh, All right, Put here's the 16. Woo! Oh my God, look at you! Oh. You're from all sorts of places, no, no. and you did all sorts of stuff in high school. Man, right. that, that's like us, like eight years ago. <laughs> Four? I'm not a math major. All right, welcome everybody. We are the Dartmouth Jack O' Lantern, the Comedy Society, and we are going to do a tour of campus. <laughs> For all you know, uh, we have a very special event for you today. Uh, Dartmouth takes its uh, its uh, what is it, what they call it? intramural sports very seriously. Uh, we have a varsity chess club, and they are currently playing against McGill from Canada. Oh! 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 Suck at Canada! <laughs> all right, guys, let's leave them alone. Uh, I, I didn't know what to do with this matzah. I've had it since Passover, so if you guys answer trivia questions, uh, you get uh, the bread of affliction. Uh, it's the bread of our forefathers as they wandered through the desert, much as we are wandering through the deserto of Hanover, New Hampshire. Fox Comandis. You guys will just stop here and look to your left. This is where the social network happened, but at Harvard. All right, question number one. Does anyone know what the Bakerberry Library is? Library. False. It is a bakery and a berry farm. It was, it was named after John Library, a famous alum of Dartmouth. You'll notice looking around our campus that we are entirely, the student body is entirely young, hip, fit, and attractive. That's because our admissions office is employed entirely by WB casting directors. All right, so have any of you heard of the Dartmouth Seven? Good. All right. So, as you'll soon find out, the Dartmouth 7 is a very focal point of the Dartmouth experience. It is the seven places on campus where you're supposed to, uh, what's, uh, what's the word? Uh, uh, or something before you graduate. The first of the Dartmouth 7 is, of course, the stacks, which is where you pick up books. <laughs> uh, and you certainly, oh, okay, he's, he's breaking that up. Okay. So there's uh, kind of like an inside joke that as you go up in the levels, the more committed you are to studying. And every time you say that next to first floor Barry, everyone just gets really pissed off because that's all they hear from every tour group as it goes by. Which leads to the conclusion that unicorns are real. Period. And done. All right. My thesis is complete, and I'm finally done with higher education. Who are you? Death. What are you doing here? I'm here to take you. Where? Hell? No. Worse. Grad school. No! 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 No, God! Why? No! I want to leave school! Never! Are these Frosties? Like we need more students here. Jeez. Give us your money. You, ten dollars for cupcake. You, twenty. No, fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, really? Fifty. You go to an Ivy League. You have money. Plenty of money. All of you buy something now. Or I'm gonna throw it at you, then you have to pay for it. I invite you all to just steal it right off their table. You can do that. Yeah. You guys are just, ugh. Oh. You guys always vacant expressions and draft clothes. Shit. You guys suck. What do you think you're doing? Can you tell me? Don't! <laughs> God! Students! So, okay. Alright, easy. Okay. Oh my goodness. Guys, guys. Rare sighting. We've actually stumbled across Michael Gillis, the smartest man on campus. If Farmer A has a side of a triangle and Farmer B has a... No, that doesn't make sense! Uh, Vietnamese! That's not helping either! Uh, Eureka! A plus B equals C! The Pythagorean Theorem! My goodness. That's why he was valedictorian four years in a row, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Gillis. I can't believe that guy. What's, what's that even mean? That's a big word. He just made that up. He just made that up. <laughs> Alright guys, we're coming up on Frat Row, which is essentially what, it's, uh, what it, it claims to be. 
Uh, it's a row of fraternities at Dartmouth College, Hanover, New Hampshire. Yes, I am Jim Kim, president, first Asian American president of an Ivy League institution. What is it that you want? I'm an angel. Mm hmm. An angel at Dartmouth? You mustn't what leave Dartmouth. Doing? Dartmouth will yeah. fall to easing. You fool! Let me show you. There are starving people in the world. Starving people. Dartmouth of the future. Oh God, guys! It's, it's the pledges. Of, it's the just ignore them. It's the pledges of the leaves. It's a roving hazing gang. Oh look what shit came to Dartmouth! Y'all ready to get hazed? Oh, God, we're gonna no. haze you so bad. We're gonna haze you like you ain't never been hazed before. Oh, I'm good. Gonna get hazed. Oh God, Kowski. It's Garzinski. Whatever. Where's your pledge uniform? Frat! 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 No, there was one. You guys are all Socks dressed. with sandals, asshole! Where is it? Socks with socks! <laughs> You're missing the socks! Frat. Okay, you know Frat. what? You know what? That's a hazing. That's a hazing. Give me the cookies. Where are the cookies? Right here! Cookies. All cookies. right, you know what you're gonna do? Gonna you're gonna eat this damn cookie on your knees. Eat the fuck but I cookie. love do cookies. It too bad! On your knees! Frat. Wait, this is actually a pretty you good deal. You have to do it, man! <laughs> we have straight Eat the cookies! Enjoy the cookies! Frat! 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 I'm actually really glad I joined your brotherhood. This is great cookies. Fuck yeah. Fuck shut up. Yeah, Rich. fucking get hazed. No, Fuck bitch. Also, guys. shut up. Frat. Frat. You guys are actually really nice. Fuck bitches. I have another. Oh, <laughs> How'd you like that hazing, man? That was pretty sick. You guys, you guys like that? You're going to get it That's next. Good. You will get it next. Because yeah. hazing is forever. Frat. Yeah, frat. Frat. Oh. Woo. Woo. Ever. Woo. Right, like friend. that guy! Oh yeah! Guys, uh, Join Alpha Beta Delta Gamma Absolute Whiskey Tango Foxtrot! Yeah! yeah. Oh, get out of here! Alright, see you guys for fun later. Well, uh, so, uh, so hazing, uh, of course, does not occur at Dartmouth. Uh, so, the, the second important Dartmouth 7 location is the Rockefeller Center overhang, uh, which we are unfortunately going to go through in this tour. So Dartmouth is filled with wonderful buildings, filled with history, buildings that were founded by important people, like the Dickey Center, and Dick's House, and McNutt, and Hitchcock, and lastly, the Penis Shaft Institute of International Studies. <laughs> Named for Dr. Edward Penis Shaft, 17th president of Dartmouth in 1955. Penis Shaft with an E at the end. Penis Shaft, it's German. So uh, there are lots of uh, things to major in here. Uh, if you want to major, uh, this isn't the best place to do this joke, I guess. If you want to major in, uh, in African American studies, you can study in the, the small building here. If you want to major in women's and gender studies, yeah, you can, it's that half of that building over there. And, uh, and if you want to uh, major in Caucasian male studies, of course it's uh, that building, and also that building, and also that building, and every other building. It's a very large department. Everyone has to major in it. <laughs> oh. We're coming up on some guys participating in our favorite pastime. Whenever you're not studying, they say you're playing keg toss. Uh, you just toss a keg back and forth, and you know. What are you doing? How drunk are you? Stop fucking around. And uh, fucking play the game. Fuck you, that's not a play. I don't want to play with your shit anymore. God, fuck you. That's a fucking law. That wasn't enough for people, so we actually graduated to trash cans recently. Who sunk that? Who sunk that? Um, fun fact, uh, Dr. Seuss was, uh, I don't know if you've heard that. Oh yeah, let's He was an Dr. alum story. of Dartmouth, so was Mr. Rogers. And fun fact, I just realized, so was the guy who made the American Museum of Natural History. So all your childhood memories are brought to you by Dartmouth College. Yeah. However, none of your adult memories. I don't know how we're failing in that department. Our most famous alum is Dr. Seuss. We can't get a doctor? Well, I guess President Kim. 
None of your adult memories because you're just drunk the whole time. I'm completely blacked out right now. I'm not going to remember this in the morning. <laughs> anyway, would you guys like to hear an incredibly true story? None of this is, obviously none of this is true, except for this one story that I'm about to tell you. I can't say this? All right, so Dr. Seuss, this is a story you can take home and tell your folks back home. So Dr. Seuss was an alum of Dartmouth College, and he wrote for the Jack-O-Lantern. That's the thing that this guy does, and me, kind of. Editor-in-chief. Editor-in-chief, in fact. He was editor-in-chief of the Dartmouth Jack-O-Lantern humor magazine. And one day, his senior year, it was during Prohibition, and he decided to have a little party in his room. And unfortunately, he was caught uh, supposedly urinating from the third story window of a dorm building. Uh, I think it was this one. Hey, it's our room, in fact. Hey, what's up? Uh, anyway, so the college said, Theodore Seuss Geisel, we're going to expel you. And he said, oh, but I'm a senior. And they say, OK, fine. We'll let you stay a student as long as you stop writing for the jack-o'-lantern. So he did that, technically, but he started writing articles in secrets under the pseudonym Dr. Seuss. The is correct pr story? pronunciation is Dr. Seuss. His mother was German. Her maiden name was Seuss. Uh, I also learned this at Dartmouth College. <laughs> Food plan is all you can eat. Uh, it happens in here, which uh, it's this building is confusingly known as uh, Thayer, Foco, and most recently Class of 1953 Commons. But I don't know anybody who calls it that. Focus serves uh, some delicious meat products. Uh, we don't really know what they are, but they serve it to us. Uh, we eat it, it's pretty good. Uh, you can eat it with barbecue sauce. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you look in the plaque in 1953 Commons, it's a bunch of people who graduated in 53, and one guy who's a 29. Apparently, he didn't get the memo. All right, we're the gonna entire that. campus is ADA accessible, so anyone from the American Dental Association can come and perform any procedure you need, and they're accessible 24-7, uh, it's 1-800-DENTIST. Another trivia question, does anyone know the official mascot hey. of Dartmouth College? Hey, no worries. I the car. Hey, don't have one. Oh, are we? Uh, no, we it is the official one. for you, we don't have one. <laughs> Color green. It's a wavelength. Our, our mascot is a wavelength. Alright, so the architect who built this building also built another building because he was lazy, he just recycled ideas. What does the Hopkins Center also look like? That building in New York. Yes, the Statue of Liberty, you are correct. Alrighty, we're, uh, we're approaching the Hopkins Center. Uh, this is where you have to live if you major in the arts. I'm just a poor boy, I need no sympathy. Cause it's easy come, easy go. Lives on high, lives on low. Anywhere the wind blows, it doesn't really matter to me. All right, all right, all right, all right. Not bad, Woo. not bad. I think we can still be better. Okay. All right, just watch, watch your, uh, watch your rhythms, watch your tone, watch What's your pitch, watch everything. What's rhythm? I don't know either. I, I just waved the stick around. Okay. 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 What's okay. the stick? I think it's this thing, but I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's watch that. Tell me something okay. different. Okay. But okay. Any, later. Yeah. Uh, what? Can we tune first? Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, dynamite next. Dynamite? Oh, okay, what are right, you doing? Ah. Don't worry about it, read them off the phone. Hey, right. <coughs> everybody ready? Ah. Okay. Ah. Ah. Watch it. it. You are this close to a hazing. <laughs> I have more cookies. All right, here we go. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four.
that acapella had no instruments in it? No, this is acapella. Acapella? Yeah, it's from Latin, you know, fellatio. <laughs> You've never heard of this? It's got an F. That's not what I thought acapella was. Well, well, well obviously you don't. You don't do it. All right. Well, clearly you're not good enough to be an acapella. So wait, clearly. so you're the ones who've been doing the shows in those locked basements? Yeah. No, you were the ones uh. who were on the sing-off. Oh, I can neither up, confirm yeah. nor deny that statement. All right. Well, I don't know. This is uh, this is pretty typical of our uh, seventy thousand acapella groups. Uh, yeah. You can, why don't you play us off? Seventy thousand one. Yeah. I was yeah. on the sing on. Uh, Alrighty. Well, that's the arts at Dartmouth. So as we mentioned, Matt hates this. The uh, another location on the Dartmouth Seven is the steps of Dartmouth Hall. Man, that couple just can't get a break. Matt Kozinski does this every day. He just walks around campus breaking these things up. It's really kind of pathetic if you ask me. How was it, mate? It's a hard life. We are, in fact, visiting the uh, bronze entombment of uh, Robert Frost. Yes, he's actually inside the statue, frozen in place in that position. You can smell it. You can literally smell it. It's weird. You guys are familiar with the poetry of Robert Frost, right? You're going to have to be, because we, we don't have very many famous alums. And this is one of them. Uh, Robert Frost actually only went to Dartmouth for a year and a half before transferring to Amherst. However, we have the statue. They have one too, but we have the statue. But anyway, uh, some might say that his time at Dartmouth was kind of like fire, but also kind of like ice. So, a little bit of background. So at Dartmouth, your freshman year is glorious. That your sophomore year, you can join a fraternity. And then your senior year, for some reason your senior year, you can join a secret senior society. What are those? You don't know, no one knows. What's up, Wedge? How's it going? It's going great. How are you? Frat. No, 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 see, that's not how it works. Big Mac. You address me as Supreme Double Overlord, remember? Right. This was Thank in the damn you. handbook, man. Don't you read it? Frat. Okay, you know what, that's another hazing. That's another hazing. You, you are gonna finish my coke. I didn't brush my teeth last night, so there. Yeah, frat man! You Woo. haze him! You Actually, haze I, him. I'm really thirsty. Can I have can I some of that too? No! No! Chug! No, chug! No. Chug! You wish! You could have. That was a me. pussy sip! Oh, pussy okay. fucking sip! Chug yeah, sunflower bled. seed. Chug! But here's the thing. Bled. Such a disgrace. They're seedless. Disgusting. Ugh. Oh, you, and you're gonna eat them all. Those. One gulp. Come on. Go. Go. They, they, they make them. Yes, they make man. seedless sunflower seeds. Don't you read the newspapers? We level the fuck up. We're not. We're not just a friend anymore. We're in a senior hey. So that is basically oh. Dartmouth. Uh, so I think what happened is that uh, uh, President, uh, President Kim came back to Dartmouth. Dartmouth. He's not in fact going to be president of the amazing. World Bank. Uh, and is part God. I think, I think that's what you're contractually obliged to say. Is that right? I think we yeah. said it. Oh, yeah, good. So, Keggy, what is it like to be a Keg? How do you feel about allegations that you are not, in fact, a keg? Whoa, 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 calm down, man, calm down. Keggy, do you consider yourself the official mascot of Dartmouth? And how do you feel about your arch nemesis, the moose? I'm not sure if this actually takes photos, I'm just recording. <laughs> Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's such a jack-o-way